Why are we in couples therapy? So we can get some stuff off our chest. Now, normally I would have expected, um, your significant other. Me too. Well, this is the closest thing to best friend therapy that you offer. Oh my gosh. So, are you going to tell him? Are you ready to talk? About all those people you killed in Nam? I didn't kill anyone in Nam. Of course you did. Don't you remember that work trip we took to Hanoi last year? I didn't kill anyone. Okay, okay. Remember it how you want. He has the STD. I think you mean PTSD. That too. I don't have VD. Let's throw that one on the list too. And on an unrelated note, he has gender dysphoria. Sorry for misgendering you. Gender dysphoria, eh? We can start you on feminizing hormone therapy as early as next week. If you want. I don't have gender dysphoria. I don't need feminizing hormone therapy. But I will take some literature. For a friend. Listen, it's clear that you two just need to talk about your intimacy problems. Ooh. Oops, that's a my bad for not adjusting the session plan. If I may, I would now like to go through a list of grievances I have. With regard to him being a... Hmm, sorry. And he never congratulates me on my many successes. Haven't I? What about that time I released my hit single, Beer? That was just you saying Beer over and over again. I would have rather listened to Revolution 9. You can be so cruel when you're off your meds. I don't take any meds. Hence, the cruelty. But I've been established as the foremost mental health professional of this series. Well, that might be true. But you didn't answer your phone. I didn't recognize the number. I thought you were not a warranty scam.